All right. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Tempo me, tempo me, tempo me, tempo me. Yahweh, he is my power. Killing the mothers, sitting in hot fire. He says, sick him. I'm like, death to your monkey, nigga. <laughs> Tell the one, tell the one, tell the one. I'm beautiful and lovely to rip to my right. You know who she is. Don't you agree? Tell the people, shout one. <laughs> shout one. Be back at it again. This one, we're going to, I'm going to get into the dreadlocks and the hairs and the, we're going to get into the, get into the spirit, the depths of it. Yahweh is great. Yahweh. Yahweh. My God. Now, before we begin, I'm going to ask a question. I'm, I want this to be as natural as possible because I didn't ask my wife this before. I didn't even tell her what I was going to even be doing. So it's more natural. So it's more believable. It's real, right? That's the way I like my videos, right? I want you to tell the people who's watching this, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you do on a daily basis? And what is the, um, just be, don't be too vague. Just, just, all, as long as it takes, but say it all. Um, what do you do, like, during the day, right? And what is, the qualities of a good wife, right? What's examples, qualities, spirit? What's, you know, so even if you got to go through tour, whatever, whatever, what's the example of a good wife? What's the qualities? Let's go. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably say humbleness. Um, someone that listens, I guess. Communication, supportive person. Um, Someone that's loving and caring. How do you just how do you display this? Just say what do you do in a day? How do you display this? What do you do? Like, what, is, what do you do on a daily basis? Um, make you a coffee in the morning. Look after the children. Get their breakfast. Get them dressed, showered, all of that kind of stuff. Make sure everything's ready for you for work. Um, give you a kiss. Say I love you. Have a good day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um make sure the kids are all provided for and stuff like that mm -hmm. um and yeah like just try and make it as peaceful for you as possible when you get home mm -hmm. so that you can at least relax for, it's a bit hard when you've got the four kids for, 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 uh, prepare for the provider and protecting the house yeah right it's easy for somebody as perfect as me to let's get you upset right i do all the right things 100 percent of the time so oh yeah totally so you should just be like, no way. What? No. <laughs> what you mean? Hundred percent. No way. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 it'll be some bumps in the marriage sometimes, like arguments. Oh, of course. When? No. I'm <laughs> right. That's that's, that's supposed when to you happen. zone out. <laughs> that's supposed to happen, right? Yeah. Right, but no, no marriage has its has its uh, you know, we're all flawed beings. We all don't have, you know, their mm -hmm. life. Bumps. Yeah. Exactly. I just want to put that out there to the people because that's what's, that's what's going to tie in with oh, okay. what I'm bringing out in a way. Yeah, yeah. Because marriage is important because, right, the woman is the, you know, the rib, the, the help meet. All right? Right? Y'all put that together for the man because knowledge plus wisdom equals understanding. Knowledge plus the wisdom, your wife, equals children, understanding. Mm, yeah. That's 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 the gene, right? That's the, that's the creation. Mm. The creation, um, the cause of creation, I might say, you can't be homosexual, and, right? Yeah. And make life, right? Y'all wouldn't set up that way. Mm. That's death, right? You can't spring forth in uh, life. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all I wanted to bring out to them. I'm, I'm going to bring out some more and start the lesson up. Okay. All right. Hold on one second. Let me start this. Oh, there it is. It's tiny. Yeah. Get a screen share. Screen share. <laughs> Give me that Iraq. Let's see, is it working? Oh, there it is. Let's right. crack it. All right, got the Temple Man up. Temple Man, Temple Man Nomics. 
Let's get into it. Let's get that spirit flowing. Open up some eye sockets. Right. All right. We're going to get into it. Let me get this picture up for you. Let's get some of this manna. That manna. Right. And manna. Yeah, that, 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 that food you need. All you need. Yahweh will give you all you need. That manna. Not too much. Don't get greedy. Right. Just get enough. Just enough to get you through the day. That manna. All right. Let's go. Let's see. I'm going to get this picture up. We're going to get into him that Samson. That Samson. That Samson. Remember Samson? He was one of my favorites growing up. Right? Right? Samson up. We're going to start off with a scripture. See, I'm going to start off with Judges chapter 13. Let's get Samson up. Not Roman Greco Samson. We need a Jacob in here. You know, Jake's we the real said look the, the tribe of Dan. Where you at? There he is. There we go. All right. Get Samson up there. I'm sorry, Judges chapter 13. Judges chapter 13. Where we at? 13. Judges chapter 13, verse 2 to 5. 13, verse 2 to 5. It says, There's a certain man from Zorah of the stock of Dan, whose name was Manoah. His wife was barren and had borne no children. An angel of Yahweh appeared to the woman and said to her, You are barren and have borne no children, but you shall conceive and bear a son. Now be careful not to drink wine or other intoxicants. Or to eat anything unclean, for you are going to conceive and bear a son. Let no razor touch his head, for the boy is to be a Nazarite. To Yahweh from the womb on, he shall be the first to deliver Israel from the Philistines. So see, Yahweh chooses you from the womb. Don't think you like you by chance got here, right? I used to think that too by chance. You know, you just found something in the book. No, Yahweh calls you. And he knew from the uh, before you were born, you was going to be his, right? That's the beauty of Yahweh. It's a blessing, right? He don't call everybody, so you gotta be, you know, what I'm saying you gotta be grateful to Yahweh for choosing you to be His own, His King, right? Eternal King, right? You still gotta do what He say, but it's a blessing that He chose you, right? And He gonna take you the way you need to go to get to Him. That's love, right? Let's get back to Samson. So he couldn't, so his, his mother couldn't drink no uh, drink the whole time. Couldn't cut his hair, right? Um, uh, why no, and eat no unclean foods, right? So that's just basically following, following the, uh, the, the the commandments, right? The laws, right? Now I remember, my, I remember my mom. Let me get another picture up, right? I remember my mom when I was growing up. She was like, you know, it'd be like, a, oh, cut your. I remember growing up, everybody was like, cut your nappy hair, boy. Cut that nappy head, right? You know, every 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 two weeks I had to go get my hair chopped off, right? So it was like it's a system. Let's see, I get it. Let's see. Cut that nappy hair, boy. I used to get that fancy part. Cut that nappy head. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, you come to school. Ooh, ooh, I'm fresh. Ooh, ooh, I'm fresh with my cut. Right? You know, cut all your hair off. Oh, I'm fresh. Ooh, I gotta, I gotta get that razor blade to them edges. Look, at that, look how sharp that cut is on that forehead. Look at that. You can line. You, it's a perfect lineup. Look at that sharp edge, right? I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it tomorrow, right? And they put that alcohol. Now you cooking the cuts in your head. You feel the things cooking. You got that that blue water. I mean that blue water, right? Everybody gossiping in there. The brothers, this man talking, right? Right, everybody cutting their hair, right? Cut it off, right? Right, my friends, my, my, my friends, family, man, cut that nappy mess. You know what I'm saying? It's disgust in your hair, right? Your hair, your essence, your growth, it's yuck growing out, growing out of you, ugh, right? Let's go to Judges 14, verse one to four. 
Once Samson went down to Timnah, and while in Timnah, he noticed a girl among the Philistine women. On his return, he told his mother, his father and mother, I noticed that one of the Philistine um, women in Timnah, please, please get her for me as a wife, right? His father and mother said to him that if there is no one among the daughters of your own, is there no one among the daughters of your own kinsmen among our own people? That you must go and take a wife from the uncircumcised Philistines, right? But Samson answered his father, "Come get that one. Come give me that one, for she's the one that pleases me." His father and mother did not realize that this was Yahweh's doing. He was seeking a pretext against the Philistines, for the Philistines were ruling over Israel at that time. So Samson and his father went down to Timber. So, so you got here. Hold on. So that's Samson right there, right? Now I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this scripture up, right? Judges, I just read Judges chapter fourteen, verse four, right? You'll we'll get a clear understanding of this. Judges fourteen, verse four. Check this out, right? Fourteen, verse four. His parents did not know that this was from Yahweh, who was seeking an occasion to confront the Philistines, for at that time they were ruling over Israel. See that? So when you think you're attracted to a woman, now she coming on to you. I'm saying Yahweh has a purpose for everything. He's in control of all things. That's what that's what that's teaching you. You know what I mean? That's what that's teaching you. Right? I'm gonna prove it. Yahweh chooses your woman. You know what I'm saying? She can be a test or she can be a blessing. That's a lesson in it. That's another, it's so many lessons and layers and all this. This book is just perfect. You know it's it's just. It's, it's created by it's, it's created by the creator of this earth. You just know it. It's so many lessons that you may miss. That you have to keep reading over and over and over to catch the jewels. It's a you can break down a you can break down a book into a thousand pieces and just have three a thousand different lessons and wisdom in this book. It's rich. That's why they don't, they don't want Jacob in it because only we can break it down like that, right? Through Yahweh, because Yahweh is our, is our father. He chose us, our fathers, right? Let's get back to it. So, um, so Yahweh, like I said, right, right, he made uh Samson attracted to her, right? To go after this woman, this Philistine, right? Right? Let's go. So, so like you say in the scriptures, don't let no man tear apart what Yahweh put together, right? You must leave your father and your mother become what? One flesh. Right? Let's go to Judges 15, verse 6 to 8. The Philistines asked, who did this? And they were told it was Samson, the son-in-law of the Timnite, who took Samson's wife and gave her to his wedding companion. Thereupon the Philistines came up and put her father to the fire. Samson said to them, if that is how you act, I will not rest until I've taken revenge on you. He gave him a sound and throw thrashing, and he went down and stayed in the cave with a rock of Edom. Etom, right? Right? So you see that, right? Yeah, uh, Samson went and killed all the Philistines because they put um, um, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Yeah, so therefore they put, oh, her, his wife, right, and the father to the fire. So y'all knew that was going to happen. So Samson got upset and killed all of them, right? He killed all of them. Right, that was the purpose of Yahweh putting him with her. Right, so there's different reasons why he puts you with women. It's not always to be like a, a, a lifelong marriage. You gotta realize that sometimes it could be a test. Right, I'm gonna prove it. Right, it's all in Yahweh's plan. Let's go to Judges 15, verse 45. I'm sure y'all would have heard this story plenty of times. You should have. Judges 15, verse 4 and 5. Samson went and caught 300 foxes. He took torches. Right. Um, and, and he placed a torch between each pair. He lit the torches and turned the foxes loose among the standing grain. The Philistines setting the fire, stacked grain, standing grain, vineyards, and olive trees. That's him causing, you know what I'm saying, um, destruction. All right. One minute. Let me get one scripture up. Hold on. Y'all know the, y'all know the, y'all know the uh, Samson Delilah story, right? Right. Hold on a second. Let's get that up. See what scripture that is. Just give me one minute. Judges 16. 
All right, you're 16. There we go. In verse, must be verse four to five. All right. All right, here we go. Verse 18. When Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, she sent and called the lords of the Philistines, saying, Come up again, for he has told me all his heart. See, he gave her his heart. See that? Before he was just, just playing, now he gave her his heart. She got his heart now. Then the lords of the Philistines came up to her and brought the money in their hands. She made him sleep on her knees, and she called a man and had him shave off the seven locks of his head. And she began to torment him, and his strip left him. See that? And she said, Philistines are he woke, and I will go as other time to shake myself free. We did not know that Yahweh had left him. And the Philistines seized him and gouged out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza. See, it tells you right there, she gave him, she gave her his heart, right? Her not not Yahweh. She he gave her his heart. That was a test he failed, right? Yahweh is your power. He comes first. She disconnected him. She cut his locks. Right? Let me go back to the locks. I, the locks represent his loyalty, his fight, his strength of being Yahweh. Cut them locks, right? He went to sleep on her, right? Right? She cut that connection off to the Father, the Spirit. Right? I'm going to go further into this. Let's go to the, uh, watch, check this out. Right? Let's get this picture up. Once his computer freezes, my goodness, it's frozen. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Uh, so she cut that connection off, right? She cut his locks, right? His connection to the father. You can't cut his power, his strength. She just, you know what I'm saying? She's a woman. She used that guile, right? Right. Remember, Eve was the one that gave Adam that fruit, too. Remember? Right. So I'm saying it goes in layers. Right. Right. Check this out. You know, the Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. Right. Right. Look at all that here. Right. Now, now your wife, your wife can do that. Right. Didn't Job's wife say to curse God before God sent that flame down and turned into a charcoal for a cat? Didn't she, didn't she say curse, curse God? Right, curse your father, your power. And then she said that to Job. See, Yahweh can use women to test you too. Right? Lust of the flesh. Right. Right. It will test with my wife. I have, I have personal tests with my wife. Sometimes, yes. Yes. Women are emotional. Men are logical, right? Women are very emotional. They're very susceptible to spirits. Right? You don't know if Yahweh is like testing you through them. You don't know. But you better be ready. You better be grounded. Grounded, rooted like a tree of oak. Right? Deep in that soil, the Tanakh, his word. Because he's going to try you. He's going to try you. You don't know when. Right? Right? But it, it, the lust of the flesh, they can use that. Right? That woman worship, like, do you love her or do you love Yahweh? You can love both, but you got to put Yahweh first. Or it's destruction of both of you. Right? Right? You should know that. You're the king. Right? Now, let's go. Let's go to the God of Jacob today. Right? Right? Oh, no, I got an idea. First, we're going we're gonna to do a Muslim. We're going to look at a monk. A monk, right? And that was a super saying with the hair, right? See all the hair, right? Now you see this monks, right? You know they worship, they're doing that third eye, they worship the lower demons, right? They can travel just like we can once you get it to knock down, you can meditate. But they they channel like demons, they don't channel Yahweh and, and the angels, they channel demons, right? Lower demons, they got a low, they got a power, but it's a lower power than what Jacob can do, the chosen, right? The king, right? Now look at this. They tell you, they be telling the cartoons, right? With the third eye, right? It, 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 uh, I think it's Hinduism, probably. I think that's what it's called, right? Buddhism, Buddhism, right? Look at this. There's one dude on here, but he having a third eye. He's a lower power, right? His hair it is. His hair all shaved off, right? See, shaved his head. He a lower power, 
right? Goku don't want to have he whip it, can whip him at any time, right? But see, that's what it, that's a that's a that's a, a cut off of your connection. Look at these fools. They're like walking dead. They don't cut off their connection to the father. They think they connect they, they connected to demons and idols, devils. Right? Devils, man. There's nothing upstairs in his head, just devils. Right? He's totally gone. Nothing. Right? Let's look into the God. Let's look at the God of Jacob. Not ja well, not oh yeah. Look at the God of Jacob today, I should say. Because he's definitely ain't serving your how. Right? Let's get a guy of Jacob. Hold on. God of Jacob. This is where they worship in the day, right? Right? Let's see if I can get a good picture. Like, you know, now, you know that's not a hair, right? That's the God of Jacob. Let me get a better one. Here we go. This is the God of Jacob. This is what Jacob worship in the day, right? Hey, mama. Hey, little mama. Looking good back there, sis. Can I get that number? Know what I'm saying, baby, baby. Whatever you want, baby. I got money. I got this. Know what I'm saying? I work for it, baby. I work for it, right? Right? She run to get over the queens, right? The queens. You know what I'm saying? The queens. Queens of Tammuz, right? Right? She get she the precedent. She get the child support checks, them shekels, right? She she want equality. Equality, right? Equality, right? Right? Let's go to um, let me get this video up. Right? The black woman's God, right? The black woman's God. Let's get this up. Hold on. I'll play a little bit of it. Right. This the M this the this the uh right this the this the this the, this the, the goddess a star you right NGLs on one business day's notice we guarantee the power will be on the day you move. If it's this. not we'll I'll here. Hold on. The black woman's god fool. Watch this. This the image of the beast. Watch this. Right. See that? The beast, right? The image of the beast, the, the black goddess, right? See all that weed flashing? She got them demons all on her head, right? Demons all on her head. Let's go to Ezekiel. It's about to get high up in here. Let's go to Ezekiel 8, verse 14. Ezekiel 8, verse 14. I'll put that up. Now I'll leave her up. I'll leave her up. Ezekiel 8, verse 14. One minute. Hold on. Ezekiel 8, verse 14. Ezekiel 8, verse 14. That up. It says, Next, he brought me to the entrance of the north gate of the house of Yahweh, and there sat the woman bewailing Tammuz. He said to me, Have you seen a mortal? You shall see even more terrible abominations than this. Who's this Tammuz that the woman are wailing at? Right? Woman bewailing Tammuz. You see this Tammuz deity. Tammuz. Right? Tammuz. Right. Check this out. The woman, the woman got is Tammuz. Hold on, so I can find it. Simple man, Here we go. Uh oh, here we go. Look at this. Temple man, nomics. That's not Google. Hold on. I don't know how I stumbled on this uh, website, but it's terrible. Go to Google. And let's get the Tam Moose Goddess. Let's see. 
There we go. There we go. Let's see if I can find a good one here. Man, this is this is this is this is just abominations. Man, this is horrible. Even there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Tammuz, right? Right? And that what in that what they push right here in the Black Panther? That Tammuz, the same thing, man. Temple man, nomics. Right? Right? So they tell you right here. This is the image of the beast, right? Don't be natural. Follow the beast. Don't be natural. You know what I'm saying? Take this weed. This, this is this is the, the image of beauty, right? The image of beauty, right? The image. It's an image. What do you always say about images? Right? What do you say about images? Right? Look at this. I, oh man, look at this. Look, look, look what the weed. Look, look what it do, man. Look at this, look at this. Death. Look. Look. Man. Yanking your hair out. Scabs. Boil. Uh, 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 uh. What they call them? Boils. Look at this. Little girl got her hair all ripped out. Ripping the baby girl hair out, putting it in. Look at that, look, look. Look, look, the image, right? They can't even see, blinded, right? Right? So check this out. Just like with Samson and them locks, right? What's this do? You covering your head because the, the hair, right? The hair is like, like plants. You gotta water it. Nutrients. You gotta feed it. Sunlight. How can you get sunlight on it when you're covering it with dead hair from overseas? Plastic. They call it yak, right? Yaki. It's just yucky, right? You now Yahweh, he he sends overseas and old. Seasonal information, so he's dropping raindrops, especially when you're in a tour. But he's dropping information and raindrops, right? You got you got your head covered with a wig. It's been festering. It's got this this decaying. You got demons in the weave. You got they praying over in the east in the East Indies and Asia. They praying idols and demons, the Buddhists, and they praying death into it, right? Controlling your mind. And you you killing your baby. It's just, it's just all festering depression and, and a feeling of, of insecurities and, and, and self-hatred. Ah. What better way you can make so much money off a person that just has self-hatred, right? Because when you love yourself, you'd be like, oh, here you go. Give me some money for some hair, some eyes, some 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 lips, some 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 uh uh uh, uh some uh contact lenses, ah. right. You don't want to look like yourself. You out of yourself. You, you don't even know who yourself is because you out of the Torah. Right? Right? Let's go to, I'm going to leave that alone. Let's go to Proverbs 22, 14. Right? Proverbs 22, 14. It's like, how can you see the beauty? Of, how can Yahweh see the beauty in you if you don't even see the beauty in yourself? You hate you hate Yahweh because you hate the, his creation. <laughs> It's heat. It's hot rocks. I'm going to your raw. I'm gonna cut your soul. So you, so you hate your hawa. You only want him. His, he created you. So why should he care about your life? We don't care about your own, right? Let's go to Proverbs 22, verse 14. The mouth of an adulterous woman is a deep pit. A man who is under the Yahweh's wrath falls into it, right? A man who's under Yahweh's wrath falls into it, right? You'd be like, how did an NBA player have a hundred million dollars? He's paying all his money in child support. Watch this. Like Nas, right? Nas. Remember, oh, yeah, he was he was doing with Khalees. Oh, yeah. You can't even open up an a, a article or like, like anything without him uh, getting sucked dry. From the sucker buses, the woman god, right? He's the one in Egypt, right? 
right. <laughs> Let me put it up. He even tell you he needs you, right? This cloud getting he getting he's a death a death magnet, right? Death magnet. Look at him. He got he he think he he calcified in a tomb already. He getting himself ready to get calcified. I used to listen to this album. Talks about I am nigga. You death. Nigga, your your heart was sending heat through your organs. You decaying. He get he preparing you for the for the judgment, the abyss, the sofa rock. He gonna turn your soul into a into a calcified, like not even a briquette, just a just just a particle, a particle dust. You gonna be a evaporation. That's it, evaporation of molecules. When you how to get hold of your soul, you already decaying. Look at what, what your baby mama doing, and look what baby his baby mama Khalees doing to him, right? Let's get a picture of that. The woman's a deep pit, right? The commandments real; they protect you. Look at, look at, look at a pit, right? Proverbs 22, 14, she's a deep pit. Yahweh's not, the one, the one, ones that don't follow his laws over there in Egypt, right? Because in Egypt, you could do what you want to do, walk like an Egyptian, right? Right? Walk like an Egyptian, a dead man walking, right? Let's go to Haggai 1, verse 9. Haggai 1, verse 9. He's sucking him dry with that child support. He he go, he facing jail time. He broke because she's still raising it up. She's a demonic woman. She's trying to get them shekels. She don't care about nobody. She even don't she only care about herself. She's a pit, a viper, whale and tamuz, goddess, abomination. Right? I got one verse nine. Right, you expected much, but see, it turned out to be little. What you brought home, I blew away. Why? Because your house, because of my house, it remains a ruin while each of you was busy with your own house. See that? So, whatever you build, your house gonna blow that. I'm speaking to you, Jacob. Whatever you build, he's gonna blow it. So, you think you're doing oh, you think you're doing good, huh? Oh, oh, you got the women, the ladies, your house building. Oh, yeah, your cars. Oh. All that physical substance, you think you're doing something. Y'all was sitting back. He's going to blow it all away. Why? Because you're not fulfilling your purpose on this earth, this plane, your kingship. Preparing you for the next life, to be the king forever. All hail King David. Right? Right? That's why. You think you're going to, I remember when I was doing, I thought I was doing something. Yahweh will turn your house upside down. He'll turn your wife on you. He'll turn everybody on you. If you ain't got no, if you're not fulfilling your right and uh, building your temple, your temple ain't pure. Yahweh is gonna be like, well, why should your house be pure and happy and peaceful? You, and you, and you ain't building my house. I'm blowing it down. He gonna send a tornado to your front door, right? Let's go to, let's see. Let's go to, this goes to another picture. Oh yeah, this is a good one here, right? Right. Take this out. Temple manomics. Biomedics, centrifugal, symmetrical, symmetrical, geomet geometrics, biolaterals, glutus maximus, lumen, lava rock, heat fire. I'm shooting a laser beam from the planet Pluto to your eye sockets. Look at this clown. You know this. Look, look, look at this clown, right? Death. He's selling death, right? He backed by the by the beast man. I told you about that in my last video. He's just a pawn. He know he's death, right? Here's the other layer. Oh, he got the locks, right? He got them locks, right? But his connection's gone. It's death. So this is the this is the spiritual side. You can still have lots and still be growing hair, right? But he's death inside, right? He said he tell you right there in the songs, right? He a beast, 
<laughs> he a pill popping animal. I'm a pill popping animal. He's selling death and dying at the same time. Like he getting ahead. Don't oh, he be in a hospital every other month? Heart heart murmurs and he's like, oh, I survived another heart murmur. I'm, I'm untouchable, right? Just gave his soul to the to the beast man. Talking about something he having heart murmurs from. You know what I'm saying? Not sleeping. He ain't even sleeping. He's so he's so terrorized in his spirit. He can't sleep. He gotta take pills just to function and, and drink cough syrup all day. You don't hear me though. You don't hear me though. Let's go. Let's go to see what he pushing. This this, this pill popping, right? Right. You getting turned. You getting turned up on that zombie medicine, right? Let's go to uh the pharmaceutical companies. Let's go to the pharmaceutical companies. Right. We gotta get we gotta get them. Let's look at some of the owners of these death of these pharma keys sorcerers. Is it where is this coming from? Right. Let's look at some of the owners here. Let's see. It's a, it's a big one. Merck. Let me see. It's a, it, it, I can just I can just find one. I found one earlier when I was looking up stuff. I think it's pharmaceutical company owners. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Uh oh. Who are the top 10 pharmaceutical companies in the world? Yeah. Whenever you dig, you always find a beast man behind every death trap, right? Bayer, right? Right? They be killing babies, right? They got caught a few times. Glasso Smith Klein. I'm going to go to an obvious name. We already know Sanofi. You already know who, who, Pfizer. Jewish, they all Jewish. They be hiding behind these fancy names, Johnson and Johnson, right? Right, killing you, pill poppers. Right, let's go to another one. Let's see what else they be doing. What else the beast man be doing? Let's go to uh. Yeah, it's, a, it's another one. Mr. Mr. Barack Hussein, Demon Obama. Right. 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 The Jew nigga, I should say. Look at this. It's that stem cell. That stem cell research. Right. What do you think the Planned Parenthood clinics? What they be doing with that? Right. I'm going to show you what they be doing with that stem cell research. It's that stem cell research. Look, babies, you think they're using? They're using the chosen. That's what they're using. Our organs, are, our organs are precious. They full of that, 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 We're trying to find a secret. They want to tap into it while we hate ourselves, right? Watch this. Look. Look what they doing with your blood. Vampires. Yahweh was in the blood. The life is in the blood. See, they using it. They drinking it. Swimming in it. Right? It has qualities, it keeps you looking young and living longer, right? So they so they it does it right, right, right. That vanity, right? At the same time, they're killing their soul because Yahweh cuts you all from the from the from eternal life. Y'all don't hear me though. Temple man nomics. All right, now you can you can have locks, right? Nothing wrong with that. You can even cut your hair. I don't recommend it. It's not going bald. That's just it's ridiculous. And definitely not wearing weave. Right? Let's go to uh Malachi 1, verse 1 to 5. 1 verse 1 to 5. Right. And we're gonna see the history of Amalek, the beast man, Esau. Right? Real simple. Let's go. Get to the history. Right. Malachi 1 verse 1 to 5. A prophecy of Yahweh Israel through Malachi. Right. I have loved you, says Yahweh, but you ask, how have you loved us? 
Was not Esau Jacob's brother, declares Yahweh, yet I love Jacob. But Esau I have hated and have turned his hill country to a wasteland, left his inheritance to the desert jackals. Right? Yahweh loves Jacob and hates Esau. Right to the point, right? Why? Why is Yahweh hate Esau? Right? Let's go to Ezekiel 35, verse 5. Right? Ezekiel 35, verse 5. Simple. Because you harbored an ancient hostility and delivered the Israelites over to the sword at the time of their calamity, the time of punishment reached its climax, right? Reached its climax. So they're they killing you, right? It's a kill program from Esau, right? Why well, you just totally blinded, right? You know what's going on. You should know by now. Why well, you just totally blinded? They got you. They got you with the chemtrails, the foods, right? What can you? What can you? What can you afford? We'll, we'll make it affordable. You can feed your whole family for ten dollars. Eating your babies, clogging your arteries up, right? Right? Mmm. Have it your way. Death. Right? Have it. What about some? What about some surf and turf? Right, right. We ain't gonna eat that mess because we know the, the creator gonna go, go send them death angels. But well, we gonna give it to you for ten dollars, five dollars, right? Mmm, right. Abomination, uh, sea cockroaches and blood. Uh, right. Let's, let's give you a cup of butter. It tastes so good it pour it on the death. Right. You have a heart attack in no time. Right. Right, your stomach, you can't even see your feet over your stomach. Right? Right? Let's go to Genesis uh, 25, verse 29 to 34. Right? And they will put a gate while you angry and frustrated and sick and put a gate around you and make you hate each other and, 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 sell, and sell stuff in your neighborhood you can't afford and make you kill each other for it. Right, we we'll just sit back and watch the destruction and clap our hands and sing. Right, all the brother Esau they hate us with a passion. And I'm gonna break it down. Why Genesis 29? Right, Genesis 29, verse uh, 25, verse 29, 34. Oh, all right. This is this is this is it. This is this is the key point, right? Once Jacob was cooking some stew, Esau came in from the open country, famished. He said to Jacob, his little brother, "Quick, let me have some of that red stew. I'm famished. That's why it's called, also called Edom." Jacob replied, first tell me your birthright." Look, I'm about to die. Esau said, "What is good as a birthright to me?" But Jacob said, "Swear to me first. So he swore an oath to him, selling his birthright to Jacob. And Jacob gave Esau some bread and some lentil stew. He ate and drank, and then got up and left. So Esau despised his birthright. Right? So Esau said, "I don't want. I don't want your promise. I don't want my promise of being being next in line. Right? I don't want it. Right? This is what I want. I'm gonna show you what Esau wanted. He wanted that red. Right?" He wanted that red. He wanted that blood. Ah. Temple man, biometric, geometric, scientific, molecular structures, and mathematics. He wanted that blood. I remember I used to be, I used to have that blood lust, right? They show it on TV, it's on the menus, it's just that running blood. I used to have that blood lust. So when I got off the blood, I started like not craving it, but I didn't like steak no more. When, I, when you cooked all the way through, I, I realized I don't really like steak. What did I like about it? Right? Because it was it was more harder and more cooked through. It's, it's almost tasted a little dry to me. I like I started eating lamb and goat and quail meat with sustenance and, and, and flavor, natural flavors and, 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 and nutrients and clean foods, right? I started liking that. It's like, why did I like steak so much? I didn't like steak. It was the blood. Right? 
The beast man wants you like them. They want to change you to a vampire. Jacob ain't like that. Jacob gave up the red meat. for the. He wanted the birthright. Edom wanted that. He saw the beast man wants that blood. Right? They want that blood. They want to drink the babies of blood. They want stem cell research. They want to inject you up into different things and, and see how your see how your uh how you tick inside. They don't want us doing all that science. They want to, you know, they're the beast of the field, right? You want to sit home and chill, right? They want to, they want to put blood in everything. Ah, unnatural. Look at that. What's that red stuff? You making that apple big? GMOs, right? Right. Look at this. Watch this. This is a beast man today, right? <clears throat> it's a beast man today, right? Like they got the mark. Right? They can't pass over, so they trying to get everything today. Look at this. They sit in the background with that Israelite loving this, looking at the bloody children, right? They want death and destruction. They want carnage, blood. They can't get enough. They put blood in them, in them, uh, in them, uh, the matzo balls. Right, they celebrate the Passover. Right, celebrate the blood in the, in the matzo balls. Right, right. No, oh, 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 Netanyahu and, and the boy. We'll get into more of them beast men. Right, let's go to uh. Oh, I got something for you. Check this out. Y'all know what this is. I know what this is. March Madness, right? March Madness, right? During the time of the Passover. So you got the Jewish, the Jewish, who behind who behind the uh, March Madness? You know who, who funding this, right? Who funding the Jacob slavery? It's it's the it's March Madness, right? While they, while they in their synagogues, right? Talking about the next kill program, uh, kill program, they're going to roll out on you, keep you out in Tanakh, right? Right, big brother Esau, right? Amalek, right? Why well, they writing a new next kill program? They got you watching basketball, March Madness, because you mad, you out your mind, your culture, your power, right? You worshiping death, right? Watch this, right. I'm seeing grown man crime. Oh, I'm losing a basketball game. Look at this. He a king, right? He, he a king. Look at this. Over a basketball game. That dude got a pink, that dude got on pink shorts over a blouse. Right? What are you worshiping? He ain't worshiping Yahweh. He ain't got no spirit, no fight. He cried because he can't put a piece of leather through a shoestring bucket. Right? That's pathetic. Right? Right? Look at this. This little boy is like, this is he's worshiping this. Look at them. This is worship. Look. And what it be on, right? What what? What should these games be on, especially like college football, right? Look at look at this madness, dude. Grown grown man, right? Right. All this all this time and energy into nothing. March madness, right? Let's go to uh, Exodus thirty-one verse three, right? What's the purpose of all this garbage? You know, you know the beast man don't care about this mess. What are you talking about? Popcorn circus, popcorn and circus, right? Keep you, keep you dead. Why they can just suck you like a, a a vampire? Suck your soul. They can't live without. There's nothing inside of them. They gotta live off of you. Exodus thirty. There's no spirit. Exodus thirty-one verse three. Right. That's not it. I'm sorry. Thirteen. Exodus 31, verse 13. Right? 
So say to the Israelites, you must observe my Sabbaths. This will be a sign between me and you for the generations to come. So you may know that I am Yahweh who makes you holy. See that? See that? Right? So why are you watching these games and playing on Saturdays? Putting all your spirit instead of being, putting your spirit into yourself, your father, your you know what I mean? Worship your father, your how was putting your spirit into him? He'll put his spirit into you, right? Right? And rest you up so you can get into the battle the next week. He strengthens you, sets you apart, makes you holier than the people that's profane, puts you in a sanctuary, the, the signs of all generations that you are his. Right? What you what, what you doing? March Madness, right? Let me show you something. You mad, right? At the same time, they're telling you to do this and baking off your spirit, right? Baking off your spirit, right? Let's see if I can take you inside of one. Let's see. These are synagogues here. Man, it's a demonic mess. Here we go. Look at Harry Potter. Harry Potter school like Hogwarts, don't it? Look at this. Look at this. Right? The beast man. Right? That's what they're doing on Saturdays. Right? So they're going through your records, accessing your, your culture, your history, Jacob. This is what they did, like slithering through it. The slither. Right? Was, I think it was a character on that movie called Slithering. Slithering. They slithering through your records. Right? Right? Get that. Getting, trying to soak up that knowledge, right? Right? So they access in the spirit world. They know the future. They know the future of them, and they know the future of you, right? That's why they're blinding you, right? They, know they, they got nowhere to go. It's all outwardly. They can't internalize none of the Tanakh. That's Jacob's, right? Right? So while you're watching that basketball game, they they getting that, uh, the, 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 the codes, some numbers, Right? To get them authority over you, right? They got they gotta keep you blinded because you can it, you, you can't use it. So they gotta go left. When you when you get it to knock, you go right. They gotta go left because your hour spits them out. Let me show you. Let's go to the matrix, right? I like this movie, it goes deep. Only the first one I like, the rest of them ain't about nothing. It's a lot of truth in the first one, right? Oh, I'm gonna go to the second one. This is gonna be the second one. There's only one part I like in the second one. Or the matrix, the architect. Remember the architect, right? The architect, right? And force the, the the mainframe, right? The mainframe, right? I don't want to call him. I ain't gonna say he supposed to be God. I'm not gonna say the name because that's, that's he look like the KFC chicken man. So I'm just gonna say the architect, the force, the the mainframe, the source. Right, the source of life, right? He's supposed to be the source of life of the whole matrix. Everything he's in control of, right? Right. Right. So he's a stuff like the Holy Spirit, the life force, right? Now, let me break it down for you. Temple man, nomics. Pay attention. You might learn something today. All right. So Neo was Jacob, right? Neo was Jacob. The Keanu Reeves character, the one of the shades in the back of them TVs. That was Jacob, right? They all Jacob in them screens, right? Right? So he came, now the architect said uh, he came before, right? And he failed every time. That was Jacob's father who came before to the father, to the, to the, to the source, right? They all dealt with the father one on one. So he's, he's, he's his father's. And these are all. And what happened to uh, Jacob's fathers? They fail. They all sinned. Uh, right? They all, they fail. So he's got to get it right this time. Right? But this is the key part of the component you don't, you don't, you're not seeing. Only Neo, so-called, but it's really Jacob, only he can speak to the father face to face. His prayers are heard. Sacrifice. The covenant. We can speak to the Father face to face. No one else can unless you got that 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 gene that Jacob is the, the, the blood of David, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. 
The beast man hates you guts for that. He got to keep you out of this, buddy. It's a spiritual, this spiritual warfare. <laughs> Temple man, Nomix. Busting through your cranium from the out from the land of vibranium. <laughs> Praise Yahweh. You got to get the designs, regulations, statutes, laws, orders of Yahweh. Walk them, talk them, eat them, live them, speak them, love them, push them, fight them, peace them all around the earth. Heavenly tabernacle sanctuary. Set, you got to be set apart to get the kingdom for rulership. Yahweh accepts nothing less. You either going to die or you going to rule. There's no in between with the father. Right? Right? New heaven on the other side. Only you can go to the other side. I'm at the other side. I've been there. I can go back and forth. The holy of holies. Right? Let's go back to these clowns, right? Not them. Them, not 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 them dead dead bomb, death bombs. Let's go back to the uh right. Let's go back to the uh school of Hogwarts, the B school, right? Right. The blast the bomb the abomination the abomination tab houses. Right. The stank the 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 the, the, the stanky. I don't even want to say holy. The stanky of deathies. Right. The the, the 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 Steinberg the uh the Steinberg death childs, right? These all they nasty ass tabernacles. They be talk, talking about how they raping children and getting away with it, how they killing babies and drinking blood. We got a blood drinking thing going on tomorrow. Yeah, that's how they talk. Don't let them fool you. Here go another one. No. Beast man. Beast man. Right. Right? They say the name is precious. Because they say the name, they might just turn into a puddle of blood right away. Yahweh sent a lightning bolt and blow them up from the insides. All right, let's go to, um, let's see. Okay, so what did the Jewish create besides uh, sucking the world's spirit and life and trying to kill everything in themselves, right? What did the Jewish create? I got a question. What do they create on this earth? What have they ever like created? Nothing. Because they have no spirit. Jacob creates everything. The blessings, dance, music, art, singing, everything Jacob puts his spirit on, he's untouchable, right? That's uh, come on now. Everything, everything Jacob puts his spirit to 100 percent is untouchable. Right? Everything Jacob brings to the table, like what? Like Whitney Houston singing, uh, the best in football, basketball. I could go on for days. Tennis, I can go on for days. Being evil, wicked, even Jacob's the best at that too, if they want to be. Stealing, robbing, killing. Who is better than Jacob at anything that they put a spirit, whole spirit into? Because they're the jewels, the treasures of the earth, the salt, the life force, right? Yahweh is chosen, right? They know this. Yahweh create, but Yahweh created you for him. There's no in between with him. Right, that's why those that's why those beast men can thrive. They watch and absorb your force. Every everything you go into, it's always some Jewish man behind it. Like sign here, I can give you all the gold and silver you want. You like you like you like uh you you like Spanish women have them. You like Chinese women have them. What car you want? Why are they giving you all this physical stuff? Why do you think they're giving you this? Right? Because you the chosen. Right? They got to put a spell on you and blind you and get you, in, and get you in the, initiated into their side. They don't want you initiated on the other side. Right? Because once you get initiated on the right side of your hour, they can't come near you. They might get their head just, just, just decapitated with a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a rifle. I'm not talking about no regular gun. I'm talking about an angel sword. Just come through and just, 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 just kill their whole family in 2.5 seconds, right? And turn their organs and, and can't put, put cancer in their organs. 
This is real. This is Temple Manomics. What do you think the sun be, be burning them up? They vampires. The sun must be eating them, putting cancers in them. Vampires. Right? They don't like the light. They can't stand the truth. Right? Right. So there you go. All right, let's go to Isaiah 29, verse 18 for the last scripture. I got some traveling to do, some time traveling. I gotta go. All right. All right, I gotta go do I gotta I gotta go deal with the source, the architect. Well, we on this level, the world hates you, especially the beast man. All right, let's get a picture of the beast man. All right. Let's put a few, let's put a, a few pictures of the beast man. Right. Look at look at look at the beast man. Not one hair out of place, it's all faking the images and illusions. You take you take that makeup off, he'll look like a damn lizard that got, got hit with a baseball bat and, and, and stabbed a thousand times. They got makeup covering his skin up. That son baking him. He ain't even human. Look at him. He's a lizard slithering through your through the Tanakh. He's a Abomination, blood drinker. Look at him. He hates himself so much he want to kill everything. Amalek, Esau. Right. Let's get up another one. A dude let it be like a hundred years old drinking drinking Jacob's blood. Look at look at this. Look at this blood. He's like a vampire. Look at him. A child raping vampire. Look at him. He came. If he came, if this dude knocked on my door, man, I would pull out. I would, I would pray to Yahweh. And I'll pray to Yahweh. Put, put, put a sword in my hand. And let me slice him from his neck to his ankles. And then put, put out, put a, <laughs> and just fill it up with a hot sauce and, and, and bleach. Right? And feed them to my cats. And then bring them back so I can do it again to him. He's a freaking monster. Right? Look at him. Look at, look at, the, look at her. Look at her. She got those rubies, all that fake jewelry. She got the rubies and gold. Right? And her forefather stolen. Look at her. She, look at her teeth. Look at, look at it. Look at the decay in her mouth. Look at her eye. It's nothing. Look at it. Look at their eyes. Slithering, right? The wolf in sheep's clothing, right? Look at, look at. Let me tell you in the cartoons. Look, look at, look at, look at that. Whoa, boy! Look at, oh, there you go. Look at this, huh? What do you see? What I see? Look at that. Right. This day shield right there. That ain't the shield of David. That's the shield of death. Right. I can go on for days. Look at this. Look at that. Look at his ears, man. Wake up. We got all, we got all the, they got no jewels inside, no life. We got all the outside stuff. We got the shiny rocks, Jacob. Come over here. Let us show you. Let, let's give the truth of who you are. Trust us. All you gotta do is just bend over and, 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 and eat children blood and and, and and then put this ball through the hoop 12 hours a day till your kneecaps break. Right? We love you. Uh, until your hips gone, then you just go broke and we and we put you in jail and you make you want to kill yourself. We go into your children. It cycle don't stop. Generational curses. We want we want this forever. But they can't do it forever. They they blot it out. They get old and dying out. They ain't even breathing no more. So what? What's left? World War Three. Yeah. yeah, how we gonna? Yeah, how we gonna have Iran? Oh, y'all yeah, gonna have them swallowing missiles up their neck holes? They gonna be buried in missiles. Yeah, how was great. Yeah, how was a god of war? They don't know what they're dealing with. Let's go to Isaiah twenty-nine, verse eighteen, to wrap this up. 
Simple Manomics. Future Future Prophecy Oracle Heat Rock. <laughs> Speaking spitting flames to your to your to your to your nose piece. Breathe it in. Isaiah 29, verse 18. In that day, the deaf will hear the words of the scroll. And out of gloom and darkness, the eyes of the blind will see. Praise your I'll read it again. I don't think you hear me. You know. Let's read that one more time. In that day, the deaf will hear the words of the scroll. Am I not, am I not was I not deaf yesterday and hearing the words of the scroll? And out of the gloom and darkness, the eyes of the blind will see. Game over. Game over. That's the whole game is darkness. Game over. And yeah, how will open your eyes and see and have ears to hear? Yeah, how are you? How are you? How are you? Well, that shall warm them out. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's my power. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm never tired. Yeah, he said the fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Death to all you liars. Uh, I'm never tired. Yeah, 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 yeah. TK came of fire. Shout out Elijah. Shalom. 